Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about size of operator. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss about conditional operator in C language. Okay, so let's get started. So the symbol question mark and colon is used to represent conditional operator in C language. Okay, and conditional operator will take this form. So val is equal to expression one, question mark, expression two, colon, expression three. Okay, so let me explain how this works. So when your program encounters this conditional expression, it will first evaluate expression one. And this expression one must either result in a true condition or false condition. So we know that in C language, a value of zero is considered as false and any non-zero value is considered as true. Okay, so therefore this expression one must either result in a non-zero value or a zero value. If expression one results in a non-zero value, that is if expression one results in a true condition, then expression two will be evaluated and the result of expression two will get stored into val and expression three will be ignored. Okay, if expression one results in a zero value, that is if expression one results in a false condition, then expression two will be ignored and expression three will get evaluated and the result of expression three will get stored into this variable val. Okay, so let me explain this with an example over here. So as you can see, I have two examples. One is example one and the other one is example two. Let me start with example one. Okay, so as I have told you in the syntax, before the question mark, you must have an expression one. Okay, and on either side of the colon, you must have expression two and expression three. Okay, so colon is used to separate expression two and expression three. And the expression one that is before the question mark must either result in a true or false condition. Okay, so here the expression before the question mark is a relational expression and it must result in a true or false value. So in our case, okay, five greater than four will result in a true value because five is greater than four. Therefore, the result of this expression is one, which is non-zero. Okay, it means it is a true condition. In that case, expression two will get evaluated and the result of expression two will get stored into the variable a and expression three will get ignored. Okay, so therefore in this case, the value of a is six. Whereas in example two, okay, so the expression one, you know, before the question mark must result in either a true or false condition. And in our case, in this example two, six minus six becomes zero and zero is considered as false in C language. And therefore expression two will get ignored and expression three will get evaluated. Therefore six plus one becomes seven and the value of seven will get stored into the variable B. Okay, so now the B value will be equal to seven. So in example one, the value of A is six and in example two, the value of B is seven. Okay, so hope you now understood how conditional operator works. So as a quick repetition, okay, let me explain once again how it works. Okay, so expression one must result in either a true or false condition. If expression one results in a true condition, then expression two will be evaluated and its result will get assigned to the variable val. Okay, if expression one results in a false condition, then expression two will get ignored and expression three will get evaluated and the result of expression three will get stored into the variable val. Okay, so let us see this practically. I've written a program, okay, on dev C++, the same program, okay, where, you know, we are de demonstrating the usage of a conditional operator over here. So the result of uh, the first conditional expression is stored in the variable A and the result of the second conditional expression is stored in the variable B, okay? So as per our uh, understanding, A must be, you know, six and B must result in a value of seven, okay? So let me compile this and show it to you. I mean, compile, run and show it to you. So first I'll compile to see if there is any uh, errors or warnings, okay? So there are no errors and warnings. So I'm good to go. Let me run this code now. So as you can see the result, okay, A value is six and B value is equal to seven. Okay, it means our understanding of conditional operator is absolutely right, okay. So having said that, to make you, you know, understand better, I've given you an assignment. I want you to solve this assignment, okay, before watching the further lesson or going further in this lesson, okay. So val is equal to five question mark, one is to one colon zero, val is equal to zero question mark, zero colon one, val is equal to one less than two, Okay, question mark, printf high, uh, colon printf hello. Okay, so I want you to guess the answers for all these things. Okay, so 
uh, once you guess the answer for all these three expressions, I want you to actually post your answers in the comment section below. I want to see how many of you have got the right answers. Okay. And once you have posted it, I also want you to try this out practically uh, on your you know, computer. Okay. So please do practice on, on your computer. Only then you will be able to understand it better. Okay. So having said that, okay, in the upcoming lesson, I would be showing you how to evaluate some more complex uh, expression that involves almost all kinds of operators like arithmetic operator, relational operator and logical operators. Okay. And two unary operators. Okay. So let's learn those, uh, you know, evaluation of complex expressions in the upcoming lesson. So having said that, hope you learned conditional operator. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hope you like this lesson. If you like this lesson, then please don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my uh, updates on my upcoming series. Okay. So having said that, meet you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all so much.